Hey guys, what's up? I'm actually out here doing a little mushroom hunting on my lunch break and our weather in western New York has finally broke. It's been like the desert here <laughs> all summer and uh, very few mushrooms, nothing really worth going out and spending a day picking, but that's going to change now. I think we got like three or four days of rain and uh, I got mushrooms popping everywhere and I got my buddies blowing me up on my phone asking me to identify things, sending me pictures. Uh, that's one of the uh, trade-offs into getting your buddies into mushroom hunting is it's cool to have people to hunt with but uh, they're gonna blow you up asking you to identify mushrooms for them but I don't mind but anyway I'm out here looking around and I'm actually finding some bolete mushrooms so I figured it'd be a good time to talk about bolete mushrooms and some of the old wives tales that uh, surround their identification and basically what boletes are, are their ground mushrooms, your traditional mushroom shaped ground mushrooms. But instead of having gills on the bottom, they actually have like a spongy pore surface. And there's tons of boletes out there. Odds are somewhere in your area you have boletes and probably some good edible boletes. So there's lots of good identification books out there. I have one that's called the Encyclopedia of North American Boletes. And the thing is like this thick. That's how many species of boletes are out there. and uh, But that's a great book. It's great for identification. I highly recommend it if you're into mushroom hunting, foraging, uh, especially if you're going to try to hunt some boletes. And uh, we got them popping right now. So my buddy uh, Aaron just sent me some pictures of some boletus edulis complex, which are porcini, which are some of my favorite mushrooms to eat. And they're in the bolete family. But uh, there's definitely some old wives tales, like I mentioned, that surround uh, bolete identification. So I got a train coming here, so you probably won't be able to hear me much longer. So I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you some of the neo boletus species that are growing around these big oaks behind me here. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about identification characteristics, and I'll show you a cool parlor trick that you can wow your family and friends with when you're out in the woods mushroom hunting and you find some of these boletes. So let's flip the camera around and take a look. Okay, so here we have some right here, a little cluster growing, and uh, I'm going to cut one of these. But you can see they're beautiful mushrooms. They have kind of a yellow, yellowish stalk right at the bottom, kind of a brick colored cap, and then uh, the pore surface underneath is uh, almost like a red, cinnamon red color. So we'll cut one of these, and then uh, we'll try and find, I got a bigger one over here that we can cut as well growing around this uh, this base of this oak tree over here so we'll cut this one let's go see if we can find this other one here yeah 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 here we go So there's a big boy there. You can see the slugs have been chewing on it a little bit. Again, they got that nice brick colored cap. Let's see if I can get underneath it. I'll be able to show you the pore surface better when I cut it, but yellow stalk, reddish towards the bottom. Bugs are in there big time. So you can see Look at that pore surface. Beautiful red color underneath. And these things bruise blue very rapidly, uh, which is what I want to show you guys here. And uh, there's some old wives' tales about boletes. Uh, you know, some general rules like we hear about mushrooms that are totally wrong. Um, the, the general uh, consensus was on boletes is you don't want to mess with any that have red pore surfaces and bruise blue quickly um, that was the old rule i was taught that when i first started foraging and uh like most uh general rules that go with uh, mushroom identification and mushroom hunting it's totally wrong um, there are a lot of species that bruise blue rapidly and have red pore surfaces and are perfectly good to eat there are some that will make you sick though so as i mentioned you do have to learn the major identifying characteristics and uh, do your homework and of course never eat anything unless uh, it's been identified by an expert positively for you and uh, you know you but if you do your research and you're a scientific minded person you get yourself a good book 
you can learn quite a few different species of these guys that are that are good to eat but i'm not making any comments here on the edibility or inedibility of this particular species here i just want to show you the bruising because this is cool stuff and this will like totally blow the minds of your friends and family when you're hiking in the woods so when i first cut the flesh of these it's going to be yellow but basically, as soon as I cut it, it's going to rapidly bruise blue. So let's see if we can catch this on camera. I'm going to slice this thing right down the middle. Yellow. Watch it. It almost instantly uh, bruises to a uh, dark blue. And what that is, is a uh, oxidation reaction with a chemical compound that's in the mushroom. All right, so let's do this little guy here. I'm going to do the same thing with him. I'm going to take him right down the middle, try and flip him open quickly so you can watch the yellow turn to blue. Really rapid reaction, oxidation reaction. As soon as that internal tissue is exposed to uh, open air, it oxidizes and turns that color. So that's a cool trick. Like I said, the old wives tale about boletes was if they have red pore surfaces and they bruise blue quickly like these do, they are not good to eat. And uh, I wanted to show you this reaction. So in case you've never seen it before, you know what it looks like, but you also need to know that that's totally false. Like a lot of the old wives tales that go with uh, mushroom hunting and mushroom identification. You really need to learn the individual characteristics of the species that you're hunting. And as I mentioned before, there are uh, boletes that do stain blue rapidly, have red pore surfaces, but are actually really good to eat. So as I mentioned, I'm not speaking to the edibility or inedibility of this particular species here. I just wanted to show you guys this reaction in case you've never seen it before. But I recommend picking up the uh, Encyclopedia of North American Boletes if you're interested in mushroom hunting, foraging, and you want to learn some, some good boletes so you can pick right in your local woods to eat. Because most people have some in their area that are great culinary mushrooms. But you can't go by any old wives' tales. Uh, you have to learn the individual characteristics of the mushroom you're hunting, like any others. So learn your mushrooms, learn the uh, you know any possible poisonous lookalikes, and never eat anything until you're really comfortable or you have an expert identify it for you. I'm going to keep hunting because there's mushrooms popping everywhere, and it sounds like it's actually starting to rain a little bit again. So... I'm going to get out and uh, maybe see if I can find some of these uh, edulous complex boletes or porcini like my buddy's finding. And I'll catch you next video.